Hi you two, welcome to today's art lesson. Um, so I would like you to start off by writing the date and skill into your book, please. So the date is Tuesday the 2nd of March, 2021. And your skill is use junk modeling to create a mini beast. So pause the video and have a go at that now, please. Okay, your starter today then. Um, I would like you to see how many different mini beasts you can name in 30 seconds. So when I say go, um, this egg timer will start to disappear. And by the time it's completely gone, that's it, time up. Okay, are you ready? So we're thinking about them. Three, two, one, go. Okay, and time up. Well done. I wonder how many you got. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so today you are going to be creating a mini beast using junk modeling. So what is junk modeling? Pause the video. What is junk modeling? So junk modeling is where you use packaging and materials that usually would be recycled or go in the bin or odd bits of after art and craft that you have in your home to create a piece of art. So quite often in school, we use things like uh, milk bottles or cartons, um, egg boxes, things like that. So things that we would normally put in the recycling bin, um, but instead we rinse them out and then we can use them to build things like we built boats during our topic land ahoy back in September and October um, and we created them out of junk modeling didn't we so that is the aim of the game today so what junk modeling materials might you use have a little look around the room you're in have a little think and talk to the person next to you what sort of things might you use Okay, so you might use tubes like um, toilet rolls, kitchen rolls, maybe if you've been doing some wrapping recently, um, things like that, yogurt pots, um, or you might have tubs for things like butter, uh, lids from things like milk bottles, lolly sticks, boxes, lots of different things. You might also have containers um, like the see-through, I can't remember what they're called, pat panets. A panet of grapes? I think that might, or panet? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's like the see-through container that grapes and tomatoes and things like that come in. Um, anything you've got at home that you can use, um, you will be needing today. So let's have a look at some examples of mini beasts made using junk modeling. So here we've got flies and things made out of lids. We've got a lovely ladybird there, a beautiful butterfly. Um, and again, so that's with the egg um, egg boxes. I was going to call it an egg pot, Ben. Never called it an egg pot before. Um, but they've been flipped upside down and then they've used pipe cleaners to create the legs. So that's really cool, isn't it? Again, here we've got some sort of tube and lollipop sticks. Um, so here we've got a water bottle as the body of our mini beast. And an upside down yogurt pot with some very cute heart um, wings for that bumblebee and some more pipe cleaners they seem to be a popular type of junk modeling don't they for legs for mini beasts here's a beautiful one so again we've got our pipe cleaners they seem to keep making an appearance we've got a lovely snail um, so we've got some tin foil that's been used to make this butterfly and some tubes and here we've got a cupcake case a red cupcake case that's been cut a little slit out of to create the ladybird wings which is really clever isn't it so of course if you want to have a better a closer look you can pause the video at any of the uh, rewind and pause the video at any of those um ideas if you want to get some inspiration so your first task once you have had a look at all of those um mini beasts is of course to decide which mini beast you are going to create using the junk modeling that you have so i would suggest if you are um at home pause the video now and go on a little hunt um with your adult of course to see what sort of junk modeling you have available and what sort of things you are allowed to use. Of course, you can also use things like glue and sellotape to stick them together. Um, so before you decide what it is you're going to make, have a look at the junk modeling that you have available to you. And then you can decide um, what you're going to create. So pause the video and do that now for me, please. Okay, well done. 
So next, oh, you've done that already. Um, you will also need a pair of scissors, some glue and some sellotape. So if you didn't get that before, it might be a good time to grab it now. Pause the video if you need to. Okie doke. So then you can look at the materials that you have and think about which materials, um, so you will have decided which mini beast you're creating. Um, now you can think about which parts of the mini beast you will create using the materials that you've got. Um, so last week we talked about a lot in science about the different body parts of a mini beast. We had the head, the thorax and the abdomen and the wings and the legs and um, the eyes and things like that. So pause the video and have a look at the junk modelling that you've got and decide what you're going to use to create it, each section of your mini beast. Well done. Okie doke. Finally then, you can start assembling your mini beast using the junk modelling materials that you have gathered. So you can pause the video and get your crafty hats on to create your mini beast. Um, make sure you send us a picture of what you come up with, can't wait to see them. Um, yeah, so pause the video and go and have fun. 